fuck day, baby. Why do men do that? Dude, don't, don't <laughs> ever do that again. <laughs> This is my favourite breakfast in the whole entire world. Three Don't days. say cycles, that means you're on steroids. Good morning everybody and welcome back to our channel. So, today's video is... a little bit different. A few people um, have been asking me to do like a fitness training kind of video. So what I thought I would do is I'm going to film this week's worth of workouts for you and I'm also going to talk about my fitness journey overall because I haven't always been going to the gym. I've always been very, very active. I will just begin right at the start from when I was a child. Like my mum's always been very interested in horses and so is my dad. So as children, we've always been brought up with a horse or access to a horse. Even like before I was born, my mum and dad had horses. So horse riding is something that I've always been brought up with. Used to compete at an okay-ish level. I think I've actually got a video of me competing, which I'll try and find. So always done horse riding, always have done some sort of like gymnastics, dance, so did ballet and tap. Was always like very active and involved in sport. Then went to high school and started to like drop out of stuff as you do. I wish I never did. Anyway, so there was a time at school where I kind of stopped doing all of my gymnastics and stuff and I took up football and I absolutely loved football. At this point I'd like given up my horses and then towards the end of secondary school I didn't really do much. Like, in fact, I don't think I did any sports apart from my like GCSE sport. Through college was where I started to put on weight. So it's it, this is a really touchy subject, but for me, I put on a lot of weight. I did put on a lot of weight. I went from about nine stone to about 12 stone, which for me and for my height was not a healthy weight to be. I'm just over, I'm literally like that much over five foot so to be 12 stone and to be five foot it wasn't healthy at this point i then found cheerleading so at college i found um the lovely three degrees which i had such an amazing couple of years at um, and then I think that then started my cycle back into fitness and back into kind of losing a bit of weight and just becoming healthier and happier. College was a, a very stressful, um, it wasn't a very nice place in my life for, for other reasons that wasn't just college. It wasn't just that I was having a bad time at college. There was other things going on in my life that were really quite tough. So kind of like on a spiral of like, I don't want to say depression, but I was I was not in a very good place. So started cheerleading, absolutely loved it. Like I, I cannot explain to you how much I loved cheerleading and I still love it. It's really unfortunate that I can't do it anymore because of my job. My job takes up a lot of time. And then I started the gym. So I actually started the gym with my sister. So my sister was the one who kind of dragged me to the gym and kind of showed me all of the ropes, I guess, um, with starting the gym. When I first went, I literally had no idea what I was doing. My sister had done lots of research on um, Instagram and kind of knew what she was doing more so than me. Um, so yeah, she started it and then my friend Taz also came along with us and we kind of went as a three to the gym. And then I got myself into the routine of going to the gym and that used to be my thing to do in the evenings. And yeah, it just kind of went from there. I will try and insert a picture of me when I was at my heaviest. At this time, I didn't particularly take many pictures. Confidence was low, um, but yeah, I'll try and find a picture and get Fab to insert it here. <laughs> And then I will also insert a picture of me now so that you can kind of see the journey that I have been on. I think this picture was taken in 2012, so nearly 10 years ago. Um, so the journey of my gym has taken a very long time and I would say that only now recently have I really got my head around all of the ins and outs of fitness and macros, calorie counting, etc. This week, I will start off um, today with legs. We're actually gonna go and train at the Gymshark gym, which is 
amazing. I'm so very lucky to be able to go and train there. With Fab, and I think we're gonna train legs. Just wanna put this here as well. I am in no way, no way, shape or form, personal trainer. I have no qualifications at all with personal training, nutrition, anything like that. So take whatever I say with a pinch of salt. If you want to use it, if you want to do it, that's fine. But yeah, I am in no way, shape or form a personal trainer. So I start every single day the same. That looks absolutely gross. But we've got oats and water in there. I have about 30 grams of oats with water. Fab thinks I'm so strange for having it with water, but I personally can't taste the difference. Depending on what time I'm eating this, it's currently 10 o'clock. Um, while I've been off school, I have been having, I've been fasting until 12. And if I fast, I'll have two scoops of this in my oats but because it's the morning, I'm just gonna have one scoop of the bulk powders, salted caramel flavor protein powder. I then have these cherries on top from Lidl's. I, <laughs> I'm so fussy with them. I cannot have cherries from anywhere else. And then I have about 15 grams of honey on the top of my oats and I'll have that every single morning. And here it is, my breakfast. Oh, it doesn't look very nice. <laughs> Well, it does taste nice. This is my favourite breakfast in the whole entire world. Welcome to... Hello, we're off to the gym. This is my block now. No, it's not. It is. People want to see my block. Why are program. they coming down this way? Oh, you don't keep kidding me. You're going to have to wait there, so... Right, we are off to the Gymshark gym, which is actually about 45 minutes away from the so house. Yes, it is. Right, okay, right, here's the time. It's 10 to 11. We'll see who's right, shall we? Monday today, so Monday is upper body, so arms and shoulders. Tomorrow it is then back, and then Wednesday it is legs, and I do like three day, what are they called, cycles? Splits. Three Don't days. say cycles, that means you're on steroids. <laughs> three day split, three so day that's my- Three day testosterone cycle. I'm just making some pre-workout. Have you shown our special guest for the day? <laughs> Here's our special guest. <laughs> <laughs> Gym. My sister, and I we're dragging her to the gym. <laughs> I won't go. I will not go. You um, do three day splits, do you? Yeah, so I'll do three days, have a rest, three days, have a rest. I should probably rest more, actually, shouldn't I? Yeah, well, I've got a new program now, so I train completely different to Elle. But this yeah. isn't about me, this is Ellen's training. So. <laughs> yeah, back off.
Right, seated um, shoulder press. I find this exercise actually really, really tricky. The stability in my wrists isn't great. Um, but yeah, we're working on it. Right, session done. How did you find that win? Oh my god, oh it's so bright. Really <laughs> quite tough. <laughs> no, you caught you kept kept up. The weight wasn't that much lower than what I was doing. Oh uh, come on, tell him how low. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, we got back tomorrow. I don't know how back's gonna go because like I said earlier on, my back is still a little bit painful from when I injured it. But we'll we'll see what we can do. I might deadlift, I might not deadlift. Get some we'll pre-workout, don't you? Yeah, but that's not going to help an injury, is it? Yeah, just lift through it. No, I'm joking. Oh, don't don't do that. Ibuprofen. No, don't, don't do, that. do that. Don't listen to him. I'm only joking. Right, trying to find a tripod. I think we're done. Right, hello. What the hell was that? Right, good afternoon, everybody. This vlog is literally all over the place, but I'm about to have my um, about to have my lunch. Um, and I promised you that I would show you what I kind of eat in a day, in a week kind of thing. So it is actually half past three. I've been at school today getting my classroom ready. So I've come home a little bit later. So I'm just going to have a really small lunch. So I am having a sesame, a sesame seed bagel. Bagels are like mine and Fab's go-to for lunch. Um, we tend to always either have a bagel or a wrap or something. I I actually find lunch really hard to cater for because I love just having hot food. Like at school, I never used to have sandwiches. I was always that weird kid that had hot dinners. Bagel, I'm gonna have a bagel with some butter and some jam for my lunch. I'm also gonna have a packet of crisps. Crisps that I'm eating at the moment are actually these little snack right cheese curls. They're basically like a knockoff quaver. 80 calories and 4.9 grams of fat. Not horrendous, but not great. So crisps and a bagel and some jam and some butter. And then I'm also gonna have a coffee because I'm about to go and train legs again for the second time this week. But I'm not actually gonna film this leg session because I've already filmed it. Right. I spent too much time rambling on in that last bit that I've now burnt my bagels. I actually hate the taste of burnt food as well. Great. Because we actually don't have a toaster, we don't bake it in the oven. Bake it, you don't bake stuff, you toast it under the grill. We move. And there's no butter left. Why do men do that? Why do men think that you know, 
I've used the last bit of the butter, so do you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to seal it up and I'm going to put it back in the fridge for my partner to find. Oh, oh. burnt bagels, no butter. Right, we'll have to just see what I can make out of this. I'm going to auction him off. Fab, if you're watching this, honey. This. I'm so sad. Right, there we go. There is my lunch. Wish me luck. Uh, excuse me? What's that there? <laughs> well, I'm gonna I do- I caught you! I'm gonna do a toss up. What? Oh God, that, <laughs> don't ever do that again. <laughs> do, don't ever do that again. Don't give me the egg. What would you like for tea? Would Stop you doing that, please. like pizza? What are you doing? Veggie burgers. Is that the robot or are you having a seizure? <laughs> what do you mean? Yeah, Ellen wants veggie burgers. I'm not I'm not really feeling that. Veggie burgers or? Pizza. pizza. I mean. Look which one I got you. Double. Oh God, that looks bacon good. Bacon double cheeseburger. Oh cheese my God. We usually have one or Okay. If we're feeling frisky, we'll have two takeaways a week. This week we've had a KFC. I yeah. guess you could call tonight a takeaway with a pizza. Yeah. <laughs> I guess you could call tonight a takeaway with, with a, a pizza. pizza. Yeah. But something that we live by is flexible dieting. So mm. you don't have to eat boring chicken and rice all the time, you know, because that is boring. And let's face it, it's not enjoyable. So Ellen and I, um, well, more Ellen than me, I can't be asked to track calories anymore, but I have, I've had my years of doing that. We track our calories, so we know what we're gonna eat in a day, the amount of fats, the amount of protein, the amount of carbs. And as long as you stick to that, within reason, you can eat what you want. Obviously- Yeah, and also, I don't f religiously stick to calories and macros. Like, you've got to let your hair down, otherwise you'll just end up just binging all the time. Ah! <laughs> First the bagels. So frustrating. Now the pizza. Do you want mine? I can't have yours because it's got red onion on. Oh. I've been doing some cleaning. Look, clean the hob. Oh, did, clean. did anyone else's partner do this? Clean <laughs> once and oh my god, it's as if I've got to give him a gold medal. Do you well, know what? I, I would like in, one, to I be came fair. in here and he goes, ow. He was with his wife on the side, he goes, ow. What do you think of my cleaning? I said, Fab, that's the first time you've cleaned in about four weeks. Have you got any gold stars to hand or not? So, Albert hers, mine is stuck to the bloody... Oh. How annoying. Back there, baby. I was a bit tired tonight. I am, I'm really not feeling this session if I'm totally honest. Are you not? No. Neither am I. It's a Friday in it. We... <laughs> <laughs> Come on, let's finish it. We got it done. <laughs> that was a bit of a difficult one, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. Feeling uber duper tired. That's Elle's week so. of training. You've actually, do you know what? You've had a bit of an off week this week, haven't you? But well, I've I've trained 
because we're not training over the weekend yeah it's been a bit of a weird yeah. time and stuff but so just, yeah. my head's just not in it like i do the same on leg day i'm just my head's not in it because i'm not doing what i normally do yeah. but oh well oh my god is this car oh my god please don't hit me um, just keep that on <laughs> keep, we'll keep this rolling in case this car hits <laughs> ellen um no but you've pushed through it and there's no point like trying to do your usual weight when you've got an injury is there no no, because I'll just end up in the same position as I was a couple of weeks ago. Yeah. When I literally couldn't even sit down, could I? When yeah. You do not want to. So back injuries are the worst as well. You don't want to twinge your back. If you made it to the end of the video, thank you so much for watching. If this is something that you want to see more of both of us doing in the future, please let us know. And if you haven't already, hit the like button and subscribe, and we'll see you in the next video.